Hi everybody, today I'm going to be showcasing the tour from the Camp Cretaceous and, and some other figures that aren't super colossal and this can fit up to 20 different mini dinosaur figures and but the other ones uh, can't really because they're just big not as big as this one not even the indominus rex it's even this one is like two times bigger than the indominus rex okay so let's get started um so this guy he can open his mouth but then it springs right back but if you don't want it to spring right back, then you open that mouth, and then you open that. So now his mouth is open even bigger, and it doesn't really stand that well. So, yeah, you can see inside of his mouth, you can store stuff in there can even put my arm in there, but I don't have to really do that. So I'm going to close this guy's mouth. Oh, it's going to fall again. Okay. Uh, so let's see um, some mini dinosaurs it can eat. Okay, so I got some mini dinosaurs over here. Um, uh, this one is a baby ankylosaurus. Let's see if he can eat that one. And wait, I oh, there's one thing I forgot to say. If you want uh, them if to get out of them their body and there's a thing right here that you can open and then it will fall through there just like he poops it out and so the first dinosaur the first mini dinosaur let's put it in there okay as you can see it's in there right there i can see it in person but i don't think And then just make it go to the belly right there. But we want to store up to 20 in there. He is a baby stegosaurus. Let's put him in there. It's kind of poking the food closet. So here is... Um, let me see something. Okay, here's a baby triceratops, tiny one. Let's put him in there. It's kind of rising. Okay. So, let's get... Uh, so if you want me to show like these glow in the dark ones in another video, then uh, stay tuned, like and subscribe. And anyway, let's just put it in, in his mouth. Okay. So his mouth is pretty wide open, and he can fit a lot more in there. So here is, I forget the name of this guy. Uh, let me just read the name for a second. His name is um, Styracosaurus. Styracosaurus. Okay, that's pretty easy. I don't know how I forgot. Okay, as you can see, it's kind of, it's kind of getting closer. So... Let's put this guy in here. Kind of looks like a Spinosaurus. Mm, I, I think it's a Dimetrodon, I think. Let's put him in there. Ooh, yeah, I 
as you can see. Okay, I think that's all he can fit in there. Let's just take out his mouth right there. Okay, I'm gonna shoot him. Let's see if I can make it. I made it, okay? Okay, let's close your mouth. Okay. Let's see if this guy is uh, gonna poop it out. So this tour is the main part of the video. Okay, I opened it out, but it's not seeming to come out. Oh, it came out. One of them came out. Look, it's stuck up there. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video. So, the legs are kind of wiggly. Let me pause the video. Okay, there you go. So, uh, so this is the Indominus Rex right here. He can open his mouth. And look at his roar. And his neck even turns red sometimes. But this time I'm going to really turn red. I think it's like on a specific wall, and and there's another button on the next to his neck right there. And he he can like hold stuff if he like put kind of like a thing or like some kind of mini dinosaur in there. I don't think I can do that. It's kind of hard to do. And also, so. There's kind of like a button in the back of his mouth right there. You can, uh, let me pause the video to show you what happened. So that's the sound that it makes. Um, so I'm going to get some of these mini dinosaurs. I don't think it's meant for doing this, but I'm going to put one in his mouth because it is possible. Let me pause the video. Okay, so as you can see, it's right in there. Uh, it's about to fall down. Don't tell me it's about to fall. Okay, it's definitely fall. This guy is not a good stander. Okay, so this guy is very pretty big. Like, look at it compared to the tool that I have here. It's uh, tool is kind of two times bigger or something. Mm, let me get the dinosaur out of here. Okay, get out of there. Okay, so next up, I'm going to put this guy back. Next up, we have the Tyrannosaurus Rex. You can call it the T-Rex. as a short name. This is a very popular dinosaur right here. And uh, look at its teeth. It's pretty big. You can open its mouth. And there's teeth on the bottom too. It's like about the same size as the Indominus Rex. A tiny bit, uh, tinier. But look at it war. There's only one button on this one and it makes it war. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And there's other war sounds too. Like that one, that's a different one. Yeah, I think that's a different one too. So, and also, there's like, I didn't, uh, this is not really a button. You turn the, you twist the tail. Um, so you twist the tail, and then he should stomp. Okay, I can't really do this. Okay, so twist the tail. I'm gonna twist the tail. Yeah, it makes that stomping sound right there. And if you twist it the other way, the other one goes like that. That's pretty cool. Oh my gosh. So, the next one is a one only from Camp Cretaceous. So, let me... You probably already guessed it since I said it's only from Camp Cretaceous. It's a uh, Scorpius Rex. And I really hope there's a season five of 
Cam Cretaceous. Because uh, the ending. Okay. This guy has two buttons, and you can see the spike on his tail. And, and it's kind of like spikes on his arm, too. And there's two buttons. This one, it makes it like a, I don't know, scratch, scratching function or something. And this one, of course, is a warning function. Yeah, so those are only two different wars. And also, I forgot to mention about these ones. Not you. It isn't on the tool, but it's only on uh, the tiny ones like Indominus Rex, Scorpius Rex, and Tyrannosaurus Rex. So this you can scan it on your phone or something, and then it tells you its abilities and how strong it is. That's pretty cool. So this one is only from Jurassic World. You probably already guessed it. Wait, is it only from Jurassic World? No. Anyway, it's the in indirect. So it's pretty tank up. So let me show you something. I like to form it in like a certain pose. Let me show you. Um, what pose I like to perform? This guy, and uh, he even has like a, a thing that you can scan on the phone. So that's pretty cool. And you can open and close his mouth. Watch this. Open, close. Okay, you can open it wider than this, but I like to keep it like this and keep it like in this form. It looks pretty cool. So, it's good that he stands. I never saw him stand. So, he has the spikes on his back and on his, like, head. And he has a pretty long tail. You can wiggle the tail. Like that. You can pose the legs. He can't, he doesn't have any buttons to roll or anything. You can, it's like a poseable fit. So, it's, this is, uh, super posable. This is one of the posable toys that I ever have. Besides, like, Spider-Man toys. But, this guy is pretty posable. And look at that gold stripe going down. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's put him to the side. Because we have other dinosaurs to show. Okay, here is a pretty famous dinosaur, uh, Stegosaurus. He is from, this is a Camp Cretaceous uh, toy, so, yeah, and it has pretty, I, when I first got this, I didn't think it had any buttons, but I know now that I got a button, wait here, this spike looks a different, a little different. Look at its tail. See, its tail moves. Yeah, see? It's moving, it's snacking. And you can also go like this. It can't roar or anything. <laughs> but I don't really know how Stegosaurus is roar. So, uh, his, oh, this is probably the biggest spike that I ever seen. <laughs> okay. He, this guy is a plant eater. He is on four legs. This is the only big dinosaur that I have that's, that's on four legs. But the Indoraptor kind of most prefers to walk on four legs. So, uh, I don't know. And, uh, yeah. Those, these are pretty tiny spikes. Okay. okay, let's put them to the side. We have other dinosaur toys to show. Here is um, a blue right here. And he's, he's stretchy. A gujitsu, you know? The gujitsu. Mm, so th I've been having this for a long time already, and it so far didn't break. So 
that's impressive. And, uh, it cannot open its mouth. This one is series one of the Jurassic World Gujitsus, and I don't got Char I don't have Charlie or Echo. I will get that soon, and this is probably, might, gonna be my favorite one. Actually, maybe Echo would be my favorite one? I don't know, but this is pretty cool still. And he has corn syrup in there, and like he, that's why it says super stretchy. Guys, I googled it one time, so one time, I think. And, and it's pretty hard. See, it's not like squishy or anything like that. It just, um, uh, like that. And uh, its arms have no glue inside of them, so you can go like this. <laughs> okay, that, let's put them to the side. Put them to the side. Okay, there you go. Okay, here's the last figure that I have for you. This is uh, Sage 2. Blue, of course, there's a blue in Sage. So, yeah, you can see inside of his mouth. This time, he, you can open his mouth. Not like in Sage. This guy is um, cuter than this one. But um, this one looks more realistic and it's bigger, I guess. I don't know. But. He has a big blue stripe going down the middle of his back. Actually, not really the middle of his back. Pretty tail. Pretty poseable tail. Actually, no, it's not poseable. It's stretchy. It doesn't have no glue inside. And just like the big one, you can go like this with it. Okay, so that is all the dinosaur toys that I have for you and they're pretty big not like the mini figures that I have and this guy has a scratch I forgot to mention that and um bye I will show my other dinosaur toys soon because I forgot to show some mini figures uh, but like and subscribe uh, and Hit the bell for notifications. Bye.